Autolite and its 96,000 dealers bring you Mr. Dan Durier in a story based on fact. Tonight's presentation of... Suspense. A young man holds up a shop, is cornered, kills. You've read the story in your newspaper. Tonight, Autolite recreates it and calls it Remember Me... Our star, Mr. Dan Durier. Well, Hap, it's April again. What does that remind you of? Why, showers, of course, Harlow. And uh, what does April remind you of? An auto light stay full battery, Hap. But then every month reminds me of that bright, brisk, and brawny battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. That especially energetic super starter that gives longer life as proved by tests conducted according to accepted life cycle standards. That one... And I suppose in April you can get an auto light stay full at the same place as always? Huh, why, Harlow? why, sure, Hap, at your nearest auto light battery dealer. He services all makes of batteries and has an auto light stay full in case a replacement is needed for your car. To find your nearest neighborhood dealer, just call Western Union by number. And ask for me, operator 25. I'll tell you where you can get an Autolite stay full. The battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, with Remember Me and the performance of Mr. Dan Durier, Autolite hopes once again to keep you in suspense. In three minutes, it'll be over, Harry boy. No longer than it takes the Iceman to make a routine delivery. All you have to do is walk in and wave a gun. And then you got money in your pocket again. Easy. (laughs) Funny how they always turn to jelly when they see a gun. The light's still on in the window. The street's dark. Nobody around. Just right. And there he is. Inside, counting money. Oh, you just made it. I was closing. What can I do for you? This is a stick-up. What? A stick-up, a stick-up. Come on, I want the money. No, you can't do this. You can't... This says I can. Now, put all your dough in a paper bag and hurry. But I don't have much money. This is a small business. I... Come on, empty that register. I won't. You get out of here. Out of the way. I'll get it myself. No, no. For a small business, you do okay. You can't take my money. I won't let you. Crazy old man. Get away from me. You can't rob me. You can't. You dirty hoodlum. Old fool. Asking for it. Got to get out of here. Where's my hat? Didn't think you'd still be open, mister. Who are you? Where's Mr. Leibowitz? He, uh, isn't here. He had to leave. Is Mrs. Leibowitz sick again? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, she's sick. Again. Uh, I've been watching the store for him. I was just closing. Oh. Well, maybe I better run upstairs and see if there's anything I can do. No, uh, no. He he took her to the hospital. They aren't here. Gee, I'm... Sorry to hear that. What are you looking at me for? Don't I know you? No, you don't know me. Look, I'm closing. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Harry. Harry Norris. Sure, we went to school together. You know me? Sure, from Stuyvesant High. I'm Ruth Shaw, remember? No, I don't remember you. No, I guess you wouldn't. But I remember you, Harry. Yeah. Guess you do. I just need a few things before you close. Here's a list. Yeah. Uh, you pull down the shades on the windows and throw the latch while I get them. Sure. Of all the people to run into, I haven't seen you since high school. Uh, Let's see. Bread. Bread, bread. Oh, here. Coffee. Oh, where's the coffee? Right there above you. What? The coffee. Oh, oh. And, uh... Potato salad in the refrigerator. Look, do you have to have all this stuff right now? Of course I do. What's the matter? Nothing. Uh, I'll get the potato salad. 
You haven't changed a bit, Harry. I'd know you anywhere. You know, I never forget a face, especially yours. It's too bad. She's kind of a pretty girl, but she had to walk in on me. She does remember me. She could put the finger on me, but fast when they find old man Leibowitz's body. Too bad. Now I gotta kill her, too, but not here. Somebody might have heard the shots and called the cops. I gotta get out of here and take her with me. But I gotta be careful. Make her think I belong here. Get the rest of her stuff and get out of here. Potato salad. What else do you... Oh. I thought you were pulling the shades down. They're down. What else do you need? That's enough for now. I have more than I can carry as it is. That's all, then? Yes. How much is it? Uh, three... and a half, even. Here, uh... Two, three and a half. On a nose. Well, it was nice seeing you again, Harry. I'll run now and let you close. Wait, um, don't rush off. Oh, I'd better. I've kept you as it is. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I'll walk you. We can talk about old times. Don't you have to do anything before you close? No, all done. Here, I'll carry the groceries for you. Oh, that's okay. I can carry them. I only live around the corner on 3rd Avenue. Well, I'm going that way, too. I'll carry this for you. Come on. Well? I forgot. I need flour, too. Flour? Yes. The large bag there on the stand. I'll get it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Here. Sixty cents. We'll charge it. Let's get out of here. I can carry the flour. All right, but you do need help with all this other stuff. Want me to get the life? Yeah. Please. There. There. Nice of you to carry the packages for me, Harry. It's nothing. Surprised I haven't run into you before, around the store. Well, this is the first time I watch the store for Mr. Leibowitz. He must have left in an awful hurry. He did. His wife was pretty sick. Do you have to walk so fast? Oh, no. Sorry. Where did you say you lived? On 3rd Avenue, just around the corner. You live alone? Yes. You, uh... You know, it's been a long time since high school. You've got a good memory for faces. I know. I don't remember you. You wouldn't. You didn't know me too well. You used to say hello sometimes when we passed in the halls. Oh? You were a big shot. Football player and all that stuff. All the girls had a crush on you, Harry. Did they? Sure. Been living in this neighborhood long? Too long. But the rent's cheap, and I'm not far from work, so I stay here. I know what you mean. That's the place up ahead with the ivy on the fire escape. Groceries getting heavy? No, no. I gotta think fast. It's no good here on the street. Too many people around. Like she said, she lives alone. I have to get inside with her, alone in her apartment. Then I can get rid of her. I wish she'd quit talking. She asked too many questions. And this potato salad stinks. I hate potato salad. I gotta get inside that apartment. This is it. Pretty crummy, huh? What's it like inside? Just as bad. I fixed my apartment up some, but it's the smell these old places have. Can't get rid of it. Well, I'd like to see it, see what you've done. Well, I don't know. The landlady is funny about visitors, and it's kind of late. Oh, come on. You can't carry all this stuff alone. After you, Ruth. Well, okay. No, you go on up. I have to throw the light switch. Which way? Upstairs. Right. The groceries are getting heavy. It's the first door on your right at the top. You could use more light on this stairway. That's not all this place could use. This it? Yeah. Here, I'll unlock it. Go ahead. Well, this is it. Home. Not bad. You fix it up by yourself? Yeah. Here, let me take the bag. Sit down while I put this stuff away. Sure. Yeah. You 
fix this place up okay. Nice view, too. Yeah, the L. Goes right past the window. But you get used to that, too. You should have seen it when I moved in. Really a mess. Then I went to work on... <gasps> I, uh... I thought you were in the other room. What are you doing? I got flour on my skirt. Oh. I put some water on for coffee. Good idea. Come in the other room, Harry. I want to show you something. What? A picture of you. Of me? In a football uniform yet. I still have our class book. Your picture's in it. Sit down. Yeah, sure. Funny running into you. I was going through the book a couple of weeks ago, and I was thinking about you. Wondering whatever became of you. You were thinking about me? Uh-huh. You didn't know it, but I had a big crush on you when we were in school. No, I didn't know. I, um, I thought I was a big shot in those days. I couldn't see anything. You sure did. Look, here's a picture of the 4th of July dance in the gym. Yeah. Do you remember it? Uh, I'm not sure. You asked me for a dance that day. Was I surprised? We no more than started, and they stopped the music to take this picture. You ran off to find Mona Stark. Mona? You remember her. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember Mona. You were going with her when you quit school, weren't you? Yeah. What happened? We broke up. Why? I borrowed a car from a pal so we could drive up to Connecticut and get married. It was a big yellow convertible. Wanted to make a big impression. Mona liked to be impressed. Only my pal forgot to tell me it was a stolen car. What happened? Never saw her again. Saw a picture of her, though, on the cover of a secret detective magazine. She had a gun in one hand, a bottle in the other, and some guy was choking her. She looked good. Well, enough of the good old days. What are you doing now, Harry? For a living, I mean. Me? Oh, nothing worth talking about. How do you happen to know Mr. Leibowitz? Mr. Leibowitz? He's the sweetest old dear. He'll take credit right up to his ears. But people always get around to pay him. You must know him pretty well to be left in charge of the store. Well, I... What's that? It's the L. Goes right past the window. Shakes the whole building. How do you put up with that? You get used to it. Noisy, huh? Yeah. You could fire a cannon in here when it goes by and you wouldn't hear it. Hmm. You get used to it. I think the coffee's ready. Only take a minute. You could fire a cannon, and I'm only carrying a 38. Sure, all I have to do is sit and wait. We'll drink coffee and chat about the good old days. And when the L goes by again, I'll be able to walk out of here safe and sound. With nothing to worry about. Ruthie won't be up to remembering anything. She'll be dead. Autolite is bringing you Dan Durier with Charlotte Lawrence in Remember Me? Tonight's production in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Say, Harlow, how can I get some action around here? Why, it's simple, Hap. Just get a dandy, dependable, and dynamic Autolite Stay Full battery, the battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. You'll have instant action. Quick starts for a long, long time. Because the Autolite Stay Full battery is protected by fiberglass retaining mats to reduce shedding and flaking and give longer life, as proved by tests conducted according to accepted life cycle standards. Where do I get this famous battery? Just visit your neighborhood Autolite battery dealer. He's the man whose services all makes of batteries. To quickly learn his location, just call Western Union by number... And ask for me, Operator 25. I'll gladly tell you where you can get an Autolite Stayful, the battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. And remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right... With Autolite. And now, Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Mr. Dan Durier, 
in Elliot Lewis's production of Remember Me, a dramatic report well calculated to keep you in suspense. Let her make coffee. Let her do anything she wants. She's only got a few minutes to live. Only until the yell goes by again. Goes by with a big noise so no one can hear the little noise of my 38 going off. And then Ruthie, who remembers me so well, will be out of the way. Then I can get out of here, safe and sound, and nobody knowing anything. They'll just find two bodies a couple of blocks apart, and I'll be miles from here. You hungry? All I have to do now is wait for the yell. Harry, you hungry? What? What? I asked you if you were hungry. I could make... No, something. no. No, thanks. Just the coffee. Okay. Hot coffee coming up. Good. Sugar? Black. Here. It's hot. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. How long you lived here, Ruthie? Over a year. I wouldn't last overnight with the owl going by the window like that. I'm used to it. Does it go by often? Never stops. I'll warn you the next time I hear it coming. Yeah. You you do that. <laughs> Harry Norris, here in my apartment. What? I can't get over running into you like this. Yeah, well, uh, you never know. Are you married, Harry? No. Funny. I pictured you married by now and with a family. But here you are. A little older, but about the same. Yeah, well, that's that's the way it goes. What do you do for a living? Oh, nothing right now, but I got plans, big plans. I'm going to be running a lot of guys around this town someday, and I'm going to have money, lots of it. I don't doubt it. You say you have plans. Tell me about them, Harry. What's it a town? I'm after big money, that's all. You'll have it. If you're the Harry I remember, you'll get whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I remember how you were around school. When you saw something you wanted, you got it. Nothing could stop you. I remember a football game with a story of high. You got knocked out and they carried you off the field. We were losing the game and you came back in all bandaged up and put us ahead. Yeah. I was very proud of you. I thought you were wonderful. You? But uh, we hardly knew each other. I knew you. Well, I waited outside the gym that night to see if you were all right. I saw you leave, and you had a little bandage right right there, where the tiny scar is now. Oh, this one? Uh-huh. So, you waited around to see if I was okay, huh? Yeah. I even followed you home that night. I, I was afraid you might pass out on the street, and there would be no one to take care of you, so I followed you. I remember that night, but not much of what I did. Instead of going home, you stopped in at a pool room. I waited outside for hours. You did? Then it started to snow, and I went home. It's funny. I, uh, I, I, I don't remember seeing you, and yet you were, you were around so much. It's funny. Well, I was a pretty horrible-looking kid then. Maybe. And there's nothing wrong with you now, Ruthie. Uh, what time is it? I don't know. The clock's in the bedroom. Oh. I wonder how Mrs. Leibowitz is doing. Mrs. Leibowitz? Oh, oh, uh, you can call in in the morning and find out. She's been sick a lot lately. Poor old Mr. Leibowitz has been worried to death about her. You like the old man? Sure. He kept me in groceries for a long time last year while I was looking for work. And he's done the same for other people in the neighborhood. What's the matter, Harry? Nothing's the matter. And sit back and relax. You're sitting there like a tiger about to jump on something. Yeah, sure. You, um, like living alone like this? I love it. Don't you get a little lonesome? Sometimes. But I have friends in the neighborhood, and we get together and have crazy times. How come you never got married, Ruth? Never met the kind of man I'd want to spend the rest of my life with, I guess. No boyfriends? No one? It's kind of your fault, Harry. My fault? Mm Mm-hmm. When a girl has a crush on a fella and nothing happens, she goes on thinking that maybe someday something will happen. 
And in the meantime, the other fellows just don't mean much, I guess. Ruth, I, I don't get it. Did you feel this way about me? I did, once, when we were in school. But I got over it. Did you? Sure, I guess. You're a funny kid. I don't get you. Forget it, Harry. Wish I could remember you, what you looked like. Like I said, I was pretty off. What are you looking at? Your scar. It's no larger than a match head. Yeah. I can hardly feel it. And you have another tiny scar on the side of your nose right here. Where'd you get it, Harry? Uh, a fight, I think. Always a tough guy. That's why the girls liked you so much. You treated them so rough. Did I? And you ignored them most of the time. Yeah. The way you're ignoring me right now. Am I? Only inches between us and you ignore me. Ignore this if you can, Aaron. Ruthie. And this. Ruthie, baby. Harry. Honey. Hmm? That was the L that just went by. I... I heard it. I heard it. Now you can relax for another five minutes. Another five minutes? Ruthie, I... What's the matter, Harry? I don't know. I don't know. I must be going soft in the head. I came up here to do something. Now I can't. The things you said, the, the, the way you act, you make me feel like I mean something to you. All the time, I didn't know you were alive. If I really mean anything to you, you'll help me. I, I, I need help. Ruthie, can I trust you? Ruthie, are you home? Who's that? I don't know. Honey, it's Jimmy. Ruth. Jim. Don't make a sound. What's going on up there? Mrs. Dooley, have you seen Ruth? Oh, I heard her come in a while ago. I didn't see her, though. What are you banging on her door for? She doesn't answer. Do you, do you have a key? A key? Oh, I think so. Well, get it. I don't know what you're so excited about. Maybe she's asleep. Look, Ruthie, you're going to do, do as I say or you're going to get hurt. See this 38? Mm -hmm. It'll be against your side like this. Act like you've been asleep and answer that guy and get rid of him, understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm taking my hand away from your mouth. Now, be careful. I don't want anybody to know I'm here. Get rid of him. All right, Harry. I'll get rid of him. Ruth? What? What's going on out there? Ruthie? Jimmy, is that you? Yeah. Are you all right? What do you want? It's late. Of course I'm all right. Why didn't you answer when I knocked? I've been asleep. What do you want? Well, well, nothing, honey. I, I was worried about you, that's all. Worried? About me? Sure. You, you said you were going to stop by old man Leibowitz's place for groceries on your way home. I did stop there. What about it? Well, was, was everything okay? Tell him yes. Yes. Everything was all right. Why? Mr. Leibowitz was held up tonight. He was shot. Oh. Mrs. Leibowitz came down to the store and found him dead behind the counter. Ruth? I... I heard you, Jimmy. The neighborhood is full of cops. They, they say it happened less than an hour ago. You can see why I was so worried. Get rid of him. I'm all right, huh? Jimmy... I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, sweet. Hey, don't I get a good night kiss? I'm not dressed. Good night. Okay. Good night, honey. Well, Mrs. Dooley, forget about the key. She's all right. You killed him. I killed him. You're going to kill me. I'm going to kill you. Yes, you have to. I could fix you good with the police. Yes, you could. You almost got it before, but you got me mixed up a little. You made me forget what I came up here to do. Trying to make me think you cared about me. Harry, I did. Yeah, does everybody in the building stop by for a good night kiss? Well, Jimmy's only... I a... don't care who he is. Only, why the routine with me? What were you after? Harry, why don't you give yourself up? You heard, Jimmy. The neighborhood is full of police. You can't get away. I've been in tighter spots than this. I always get away. Here it comes, Ruthie. Harry. 
Sorry, baby. I won't tell anyone, Harry. Sorry, baby. Don't kill me. Sorry, baby. It's all right, miss. It's all right. Is he dead, officer? Yeah. I I didn't know whether you'd get here in time. We finally found that trail of flour you left from the store up here. We hit the door just as the L passed. Close. I was quick thinking, lady, that trail of flour. Did you see him shoot the old man? No. When Harry opened the refrigerator to get some potato salad, I saw Mr. Lebowitz's legs sprawled out on the floor. And when he came from behind the counter, he left tracks of blood. Yeah. Hey, how did you keep him here so long without without him killing you? We had a lot to talk about. I knew Harry a long time ago. There were things I remembered about him but he, but he didn't remember me. Suspense. A story based on fact. Presented by Autolite. Tonight's star, Dan Durier. This is Harlow Wilcox speaking for Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Last week, it was the very great privilege of Autolite to salute leading car manufacturers who install Autolite products as original equipment in the Parade of Stars automobile show in the Grand Ballroom of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City. Here, in a colorful setting, were presented brilliant new car models produced by members of the Autolite family. On the opening night, the show was presented to millions at Autolite Suspense Television Time in the first national television preview of an automobile show. Later in the week, the show was attended by thousands from all over the world, as well as by leaders in the automotive industry and stars of the entertainment world. All members of our Autolite family joined in this salute and were proud to have had this opportunity of expressing appreciation to the distinguished members of our family and to their dealers for our many years of association. Next week, a true story of a murder on the high seas, a classic of documentary American crime in which our star, Mr. Richard Widmark, will appear as Mate Brom. The dramatization is based on Edmund Pearson's famous essay and will be presented on... Suspense! Suspense is produced and directed by Elliot Lewis, with music composed by Lucian Morrowick and conducted by Lud Gluskin. Remember me was written for suspense by Gus C. Bays. In tonight's play, Charlotte Lawrence was heard as Ruth. Featured in the cast were Joseph Kearns, Ruth Parrott, Lee Millar, and Charles Calvert. For the location of your nearest battery or spark plug dealer, or your nearest authorized Autolite service station, phone Western Union by number and ask for Operator 25. Switch to Autolite. Good night. This is the CBS Radio Network.